What's up, guys? If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Also, please smash that like button on the video and enjoy the show. And then um, after that, everybody's people. Hmm. They, they let him live. They let him do to extent to extent. Don't create problems for us. We won't give you problems. How no. does how does the triads over there though relate to the triads here? Is it an extension here, or is it really separate? No, it's a separate. Very separate. I, I, like I said, I'll, I'll I'll put myself out there. New York City gang. When we started, we're just low level. Mm. We still we were still we were low level. We weren't we weren't highly f- sophisticated. We didn't really we weren't really organized right. until later on in the years. You know, mm. Once we establish ourselves, we have a good racket going. Then we were considered organized crime. Got it. But we were all street thugs, you know. Um, nothing uh, uh, special about me. You know? I'm just a um, Chinese guy, Chinese kid, you know, going around freaking taunting uh, their own people. <laughs> you know? I, I, yes, I'm ashamed of it. I'm uh, ashamed of what I did. But I did what I did, you know. Um, I won't regret it, but I'm ashamed of it. Right? Well, so, some of it. At least when you were over there, it seems like it was a bit of a survival tactic, too. I mean, like, you're getting the shit kicked out of you every day by the triads, so you figure out how to join the triads yeah. so that you stop getting the shit kicked out of you. Yeah, but then I became one of those assholes terrorizing normal people, too, mm. you know? Yeah. Um, uh, you know, terrorizing them, like taking money from them or extorting them. So the triads, the way you made that sound, I want to make sure I'm right here, the triads effectively had, you know, young students in school who were a member of their already a member of their gang, and so now you get into that, and now you're picking on other young students at their behest. Yes. They go by numbers. They need numbers. Mm. Because uh, back there, they fight. They don't fight with guns. Gun, they don't have much guns. Uh, gun trade is not uh, a big thing in Hong Kong. The British have everything controlled. If, if you go to England right now, even the cops don't carry a gun. Right. Right? Um, so guns are very limited in, 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 in that part of the world. So is it knife? Oh, no. It's freaking machetes. Oh, shit. Yeah, we're talking about the Gurgers freaking That'll machetes. That'll do it. Yeah, yeah. You know, cutting freaking trees and chopping hands and heads. Yes. That, and, and oh, my God. So you learn how to wield a machete pretty good. Um, there's an incident that, that happened. Um, they were fighting over our territory. I, I was called in to, because after that, I was going to be a full-blown initiated member. Is, this tribe. isn't at school. No, okay. No, it was at, right. at, yeah, at, yeah. The, at the... Let's make it sure. Uh, but I was only 15 years old. Right. And he said, I want to see how your true colors. Right? <laughs> see how, how, how you react. <laughs> Are you brave enough? So fucking guy was on the floor. The, my, one of the guys said, yo, go over there. Fucking knife him, right? Uh, that's not knifing him. It's a fucking machete. So, so I, I don't know how to use it. I was 15 years old. I accidentally stuck it in. Ooh. I don't know if you lived or not. I'm not gonna, uh, but I was underage. Coming, I'll do a Kanye. Now what? <laughs> all right? All right, all right. But I was 15 years old. Um, I put it this way. I don't have any bad feelings toward it, towards it. I'm not gonna feel remorse about it. What? How I felt about that life is that once you step in that coliseum, I, yes. I, I, to me, it's a gladiator thing. Mm-hmm. You step in. Once you step foot in that, gla- uh, uh, that coliseum, there's no rules. Yeah. Right? You know what it is. All right? It is what it is. All right? I've said to people in the past when I've had, you know, some guys who are in the mob and stuff on, on the show, you know, obviously I'd taken a life on any level is wrong. But to me, there, there is a difference if I were sitting across from some regular dude who killed his wife versus, you know, a gangster who was involved in some gangland killings. It's like when you sign up for that life... You either go in the box or in the grave, right? That's kind of how it goes. You know what you signed up for, and mm-hmm. it is what it is. I'm not saying it makes it right, but there is, there is a level of difference there, you know, from, from a human perspective. But also, you know, you're 15, 16 with that story you're talking about. You're so young. You don't have any ability to really comprehend what you're doing. Um, at, at my mind, I'll tell you what I, what I was thinking. I was like... Yeah, he's, he's testing me. I got to pass the test. Right. That's all I was thinking. Nothing else on my mind. I got to pass the test. Were you looking for like a father figure? Mm, I wasn't. I was looking to... I give you something, I know you're going to protect me. Mm. That's what... I, we're doing exchange. That's what what in my mind. I have to, I have to prove to you that I can right. do it. So, so that way, you'll look after me. 
So I, I didn't know what, how, how to fix it. I was supposed to chop him. <laughs> chop him, it won't kill him. I fucking asked him, and he stuck it in him. Mm. So Wait, chopping him won't kill him? It, it eventually, if the infection after a couple of days, if, you, if the, the wound doesn't, but wait, it, I'm thinking of chopping the wrong way here. I'm thinking like a full machete chop. It's, like. it's a slice. It's sli- you're supposed to slice it. We call on it the chi- arm. Yeah, whatever. It's it, in, in Chinese we call it pet. It's okay. it's not to kill. Okay. Right? Uh, it's to hurt. Okay. Um, disable in a way. Understood. I had no idea how, how it you was just done. Went. Yeah, and he was laying on the fucking floor. You know. Ooh. Um, and to be How honest, old was the guy? I don't know. Probably a little bit older than me. Mm. I pissed it. I pissed in my pants. Oh, I'll bet. I didn't even know I was scared or excited. Um, but the funny thing is that I, I the next next day when I woke up from this, I, I had no feeling. Nothing. No, I I didn't feel scared or whatever. You know. Where are you uh, living at this time? I was living with my grandmother. They had no idea. They the had fuck no idea they, you were out there with machetes. No, they had the no idea. I was keeping it so secret from them. But you'd be gone. I imagine you're gone all hours, yeah, right? I was telling them I was going to. It was a common practice. We'd go to other classmates' house to do homework. You know? Come back with cuts all over your fucking yeah. hands and shit. Yeah. yeah, it was really hard today. Oh, I fell. You know? uh, but the funny thing is that my, one of my, my mom's uh, younger brother was uh, a triad member, too. Mm. From the same triad as Jimmy, you know, Big Head. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, Sanyon? from your channel. Yeah. Yep. So if they try to shake me down. All right, you've been, in, you know, uh, you've been hanging around any people in your school? I said, no, I just go to class, you know, hang out with a few friends. You, know, you better not join the freaking triad. I said, mm. nah, I would never. You know? <laughs> You're already in it. Yeah, I was like, you fucking dumbass. You know? Now, nah, did you? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I was an arrogant, very arrogant kid. I was very slick. After after that machete yeah. incident, though, did you get it officially inducted? Oh yeah, um, we took down all our clothes until uh, only our drawers were there. We had to bear naked. Uh, only our drawers were 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 we were wearing our drawers. That shows you your. Where are you when this is happening? Like, do they come and do they come they, and get you and say we're? They going? come and get me after after school. Okay. They round me up. Who comes and gets you? Uh, the older members of the okay. triad. So non-school. Said, yes, it, it it doesn't happen every every month. Right. They set up a whole bunch, and then they said, "Oh, it's time to fully initiate these worthy people into uh, into our triad." And it was like nine, ten of us, uh, and we were bare naked, and we were, and somebody was reading the script to us, you know, the the freaking the triad script, the initiating script. Which is like what? What are um, they saying to you? Be loyal to your brothers. Mm. Uh, don't don't fucking commit uh, adultery within the uh, within uh, the the, uh, the the organization. That means don't fuck with yeah, each other's don't wife. Fuck yeah, don't fucking other guys. Yeah. yeah. Um, keep your hands clean. What do you? And then they'll ask you, what do you love? You love money or your brothers? Of course, you can say money. You're not gonna say uh, <laughs> you know, uh, you you gonna say brothers, not money. You right, know? right. So that's what we said. That's what we had to say. And then they, uh, where where was it again? It's like in, where do they take you? It's in uh, one of those um, mini branches where they have uh, the um, General Kwan's uh, statue. Y- wait, y- wait, y- in, in one of the what branches? The, one of the triad branches. So is it like a safe house? Not really. It's like an association. Oh, yeah, like a social club. Like, like, a, like a big freaking table. Okay. You know, and, and then all the members come, you know, have meetings uh, for, for that branch or whatever, you know. And how many of you were getting initiated? Uh, nine to ten. And how many guys are in there from the triads reading this off to you or standing around? Uh, there was like around two, three guys. Uh, my, the guy that I was uh, directly under, hmm. uh, the and the and the other guy that was a little bit hierarchy, uh, in, in that was able to do that this type of ceremony because everybody has a number. Um, maybe Jimmy in the future w- w- could, uh, you know, Big Head could uh, explain right. to you because I I don't really. I wasn't really into it, but they were, every member. <laughs> not into it. He's only yeah, getting I'm, inducted. Uh, yeah, I was like, yeah, I'm part of the member. Yeah, I'm good. Okay, uh, I'm being protected. Um, every member, when you're inducted into it, has a has a member uh, member number. Mm. Uh, Forty nine means a soldier. Um, uh, Four three eight say, is considered as uh, uh, the council. Mm. Right? So it, there's dur- different mem- uh, levels. Of uh, and numbers that are that are able to do this type of script or or, or uh, ceremony. Not everybody could uh, hold the ceremony. 
Mm. And once the ceremony is completed, they they put you down in 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 um you know what you call it um it's like a black black book, and they uh uh, sh- uh bring it to the to the main branch and they'll put the name the name in. So, so that's you're why in there for life. Yes. So that's why the fucking Chinese are something. They're so smart, but they're so fucking stupid at the same time. <laughs> you should have a fucking list <laughs> written down. <laughs> who the fuck is, is the active member? So I yeah, mean, it's, to me, it's stupid, right? Yeah. At least the Italians freaking write their name and burn it. You know, yeah, they yeah. burn it in their yeah. hand. Yeah. So it, what you gotta fucking go to Facetic uh, uh, Crime Scene Lab and fucking retru- recover your freaking name? Right. Nah, it's stupid, you know. They're so smart in a way, and they're so fucking stupid in a way too. You know? So my name is on there forever. Today, uh, it should be. It should be there. The cops you know? have never found that black book. Uh, I don't know if they did. Uh, mm. If they did, um, they they still can't prosecute me because during that time it was British rule. Oh, so the laws yeah, all was, changed with that. That was before ninety seven. So is there like a no grandfather? So if I. Whatever day it was, okay. August, whatever, nineteen ninety seven. If I killed someone the day before, the day after, I'm good. I don't know, but but it's not the same police. Uh, you get what I mean, right? It's not the same police. And and another thing, I was underage. They're very strict with underage in, in 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 Hong Kong during that time, under the British rule. If you're if you're a minor, you're a minor. Mm. Not like America nowadays that you know you're a minor will fucking try you as a dog. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. Do. yeah. They don't. The British don't uh, don't mix that around. The British are very strict with uh, certain mm. things. You know how you know they're, they're very they're very fucking awkward. The British, <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, you know how they are. They they only go one way. They don't go not. Use another the way. machete. Yeah. It's all good. He was fifteen. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah. We'll let that one slide. All right. So I'm not sure if they could prosecute me or not, but it's well. Don't go back to Hong Kong. I, you I won't never find did. out. I never did. I, never, <laughs> I, I don't. I don't intend to find out. You know. Yeah. So I I try to avoid you know going back to Hong Kong. I I might travel to China, and if I do, I'll go to sh- uh, Shanghai. Uh, and have and you been to China <coughs> since this time? One day. One no, day. no, since this day, no. no. Okay, all right. Um, I don't think I ever traveled more than one day in China. That was the night uh, when I was fifteen years old. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That all one right. day. Yeah, I was like, shit. I don't know what the fuck China is. Right. Yeah, you know, I don't know. But besides my my skin and my fucking eyes slanted and yellow, <laughs> the fuck do I know about China? I know nothing. Mm. I like like you, you hear this accent of mine. Yeah, yeah, you sound like an Italian from Brooklyn. All right, you sent me back to Hong Kong or, or China. <laughs> All right, uh, with me with with American accent, even with 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 my Cantonese or Mandarin, what the fuck did they think? Yeah, I'm a fucking spy for the American right, government. Of yeah, they fucking yo. Then then they're gonna give the fucking Singapore lashes on me. Yeah, yeah they'll fucking beat me down. Yeah, yeah you'll be in some trouble with that. Yeah, so, so let's put it this way: I will never betray where I live, like I said. But I'll never betray my people. Also, mm. just don't want nothing to do with it. Yeah. Thank you for watching the video, guys. If you haven't already subscribed, please smash that subscribe button and check out this clip's full podcast episode by clicking here or in the description below.